gorgeous, dazzling, seductive, intelligent, and whatnot. History defines Cleopatra with such adjectives describing the qualities and achievements of this last Egyptian queen of the Ptolemaic dynasty. Indeed, she was a complex woman who cannot be easily summed up in a few words. But was she really beautiful? Today in this video, we'll try to solve this chronicle mystery. But before we proceed further in this video, do you know, how did Roman propaganda and the Hollywood movies influence the perception of Cleopatra's beauty? If you know the answer, kindly write them in the comment box below. Hello, and welcome to my channel. Today, we're going to talk about one of the most famous and controversial figures of the ancient world, Cleopatra and what she really looked like. Let's find out. First of all, we need to understand the context and sources of information about Cleopatra's appearance. Cleopatra was born in 69 BC, and she belonged to the Ptolemaic dynasty, which was founded by Ptolemy I, a general of Alexander the Great. The Ptolemies were of Greek origin, and they ruled Egypt for almost 300 years. However, they also adopted some Egyptian customs and traditions to win the favor of the native population. Cleopatra was the last of the Ptolemies, and she faced many challenges and enemies during her reign. She had to deal with civil wars, rebellions, invasions, and assassinations. She also had to forge alliances and relationships with powerful figures of the Roman Empire, such as Julius Caesar and Mark Antony, who were both her lovers and political partners. She had three children with Caesar and Antony, and she tried to secure their future as rulers of Egypt and Rome. However, her plans were thwarted by Octavian, the nephew and heir of Caesar who defeated her and Antony in the Battle of Actium in 31 BC. Cleopatra and Antony committed suicide shortly after, and Egypt became a province of Rome. So, how do we know what Cleopatra looked like? Well, there are three main types of sources, coins, statues, and writings. Coins were widely used and circulated in the ancient world, and they often bore the portraits of rulers as a way of propaganda and legitimacy. Statues and busts were also common, and they were more realistic and detailed than coins. However, they were also influenced by artistic styles and cultural preferences of different periods and regions. Writings were more subjective and interpretive, and they were based on the perspective, purpose, and bias of the authors, who may have praised or criticized Cleopatra for various reasons. Let's start with the coins. There are many coins that depict Cleopatra, and they show her with different features and expressions. Some coins show her with masculine traits, such as a prominent nose, a strong chin, and short hair. These coins may reflect her desire to assert her power and equality in a male-dominated world. Other coins show her with more feminine traits, such as a round face, a small mouth, and long hair. These coins may reflect her attempt to appeal to her lovers or allies. However, coins are not very reliable indicators of physical beauty as they were often stylized, distorted, or damaged by wear and tear. Moreover, coins were usually minted by male artists who may have followed certain conventions or biases when depicting female rulers. Next, let's look at the statues and busts. There are very few surviving statues and busts of Cleopatra, and some of them are of dubious authenticity or origin. For example, the famous Berlin bust of Cleopatra, which shows her with a slender neck, almond-shaped eyes, and a serene expression, is now considered to be a Roman copy of a Greek original and may not even represent Cleopatra at all. Other statues and busts show her with different hairstyles, headdresses, and jewelry, which may reflect her adaptation to different cultures and contexts. However, statues and busts were also subject to damage restoration or alteration over time, which may have changed or distorted their original appearance. Finally, let's examine the writings. There are many ancient writers who described or mentioned Cleopatra in their works, such as historians, poets, and biographers. However, their accounts are often contradictory or inconsistent. For example, some Roman writers, such as Dio Cassius and Lucan depicted Cleopatra as a woman of surpassing beauty who bewitched and corrupted Caesar and Antony with her charms. 
However, these writers were hostile to Cleopatra and her lovers, and may have exaggerated or distorted her beauty to vilify her as a threat to Rome. On the other hand, some Greek writers, such as Plutarch and Strabo, suggested that Cleopatra's beauty was not exceptional, but rather her intelligence, eloquence, and charisma were more impressive. However, these writers were more sympathetic to Cleopatra and her lovers, and may have downplayed or ignored her beauty to praise her as a remarkable ruler. So, what can we conclude from these sources? Well, there is no conclusive or definitive proof that Cleopatra looked like what most of us think she looked like. The evidence from coins, statues, busts, and writings is inconclusive, contradictory, or unreliable, and does not support the popular image of Cleopatra as a stunning beauty. Rather, Cleopatra's real face was probably more ordinary and diverse, reflecting her complex and multifaceted identity and personality. Cleopatra was not just a beautiful woman, but also a smart, charismatic, and powerful ruler who left a lasting legacy in history. That's all for today, folks. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Thanks for watching and see you next time.